Hey, everybody, it's Andrea. Before we start today's show, I have a super quick announcement to share with all of you. Beginning in April, I'm going to be launching a series of college to career live weekend boot camps to help graduating seniors as well as juniors who are confused about what jobs or careers they might want to pursue when they graduate. So imagine going from confused to confident with at least three different career options you'd be psyched to explore by the end of day one of the boot camp. And then learning the tools, tactics, and the strategies to find those jobs by the end of day two. The boot camp is live and it's led by me over Zoom. And you can learn more about it at College to Career Academy. That's college, the number two, career dot academy. Or you can just look me up on LinkedIn and check out the featured section of my LinkedIn page. I can't imagine a better graduation gift for the college students in your life. Thanks so much for listening, and I know you're going to enjoy my next incredible guest. Hi there, I'm Andrea Koppel, and it's time for coffee, the podcast where you get to hear firsthand what the jobs and careers that interest you the most are really like. Hey there, Java junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career triple shot K-Cup with my guest, Jim Quick. Well, speaking of pain or painful experiences, Jim, what advice do you have for job seekers out mm -hmm. there today? Let's say our young job seekers who, like everyone, are getting so discouraged because the job market is so yeah. bad. It's so much harder to find a job. And of course, the coronavirus is still around. We're doing this interview for our podcast listeners at the end of January of 2021. How can they inspire themselves and keep their motivation moving in the right direction? Andrew, that's that's the question, really. I mean, this is so you yeah, you have, you ask such thoughtful questions. I would say my my answer for those who are thinking that trying to manage their mind in times of crisis, trying to figure out in to find certainty and uncertainty, is that. There's a quote in my book from a French philosopher that says, life is the C between B and D. Life is C between B and D. B is birth, D is death, C, life, choice. That I believe that first, the mindset that I have, I would encourage everybody to kind of look from this lens to see if it agrees with you is that these difficult times can define you. These difficult times can diminish you or these difficult times can develop you. We decide going back to the power of choice. And what I would say is, that certainly I would say to maintain your agency to be that thermostat, not thermometer, that a thermometer reacts to things and they react to the environment. And we all react to everything, right? The, the weather, we react to the economy, we react to politics, we can. But to the degree my experience has been, people are happy and feel like they're successful is to the degree they feel they have agency. That things could be happening here, but the thermostat, as we mentioned, doesn't react to the environment, it gauges the environment. So get your finger on the pulse of what's going on in the job market, you know, in the opportunity, but also it sets a standard or it sets a goal and a vision and the environment reacts to it. And I would say that a big lesson that I learned, I got to talk about superheroes. The reason I talk about superheroes so much is because I couldn't read, as I mentioned, and I struggled every single day. I would get nervous every single time they passed around that book in class. I taught myself how to read by reading comic books when my parents thought I was sleeping late at night and I would escape out of my pain, you know, there. Something about the hero's journey really found that there's hope, that there's people I really want to help, that one person can make a difference. Years later, though, I got to introduce two modern day superheroes together over dinner that they wanted to meet. It was Richard Branson and Stan Lee. 
and not Stan Lee, but Stanley, like Stanley, Stan Lee, the creator of all these incredible superheroes. And in the car, I needed to know this. I was like, Stan, you created X-Men and Fantastic Four and the Avengers. Who's your favorite? He says, Jim, it's Iron Man. And I was like, wow. And it's like, she said, Jim, who's your favorite superhero? And I, I, I have this like Iron Man case on my phone. I have, a, I have like Iron Man like left. And then I have, I have a real life like, seven foot Iron Man in my home. If people see that on Instagram. And, but I said, he said, who's your favorite superhero? And I said, mine is Spider-Man. And when I said Spider-Man in his iconic voice, and he says, with great power comes great responsibility. Right. And I still... Um, because maybe because my traumatic brain injuries and, you know, I sometimes flip words around and I heard something different. I was like, you're right, Stan, with great power comes great responsibility. And the opposite is also true. With great responsibility comes great power. When we take responsibility for something, we have great power to make things better. You know, I have people watching on video. I have this, like, I got this art. It's a picture of Stan oh, all the way yeah. to the top of my office. And I put it up on, on, all the way up on this top here to remind myself that lesson that it's actually made out of candy. Sam is, he was like the youngest old person I ever met. He had two passions. He would still, you know, his late eighties, he would still go to work nine to five. And his other passion, um, you know, was his wife also as well. So I really respected him. And, but he was also so playful and he learned so much. And I just, he, he's just, uh, I think he's a model and archetype in my mind of what, it, you know, what, what our potential really could be. But I put that up there because it reminds me of responsibility. So my advice to uh, somebody in school looking for advice or even you know out of school looking for a direction is to take responsibility. That that actually gives you power because you're not at the effect. It gives you the power to make things better. That up to this point, we're, we're shaped by our past and expectations, experience and everything else. But we are 100% responsible for our life today and moving forward. And so I think that where that comes into play in our choices is now is the, the best time to level up. That you don't want to shrink what's possible to fit your mind. Let's expand our mind to fit all that's possible. And part of that is not downgrading your dreams to meet this current situation. There is a reality of the situation, certainly. But don't downgrade your dreams and goals to meet this current situation. Expand your capabilities. You know, expand your, your focus, your discipline, right? To learn new skills, the skills that could help you because the future belongs to the, the creators, right? Even before what's going on, jobs are becoming automated. They're going to machines, artificial intelligence. What's truly not going to be outsourced as easily is what makes you limitless, you know, the mind. There's no limit to your creativity. There's no limit to our ability to solve problems that have value in, in the workplace. There's no limit to our ability to imagine, there's no limit to our imagination, right? There's no limit to our ability to to come together at this difficult time to to focus and to persevere. And so what I would say is to play at the edge of those limits and to make time, take time. You are your greatest work of art. You're the greatest art you'll ever create. Make time to create magic, upgrade your skills. And I think one of the most important skills, learning how to learn, right? That is the advantage because if there was a genie could grant you any one wish, but only one wish, you would ask for limitless wishes. So everyone would ask for millions of wishes. If I was your learning chief, I could grant you one learning wish, help you become a master, you know, very competent expert, any one subject or any one skill. Would it be negotiating? Would it be investing? Would it be sales? Would it be market? What would it be? It would be learning how to learn. That would be the equivalent of asking for limitless wishes because if you can learn how to learn, learn how to study well, learn how to master technical information, to be able to focus and concentrate, remember to retain information, be able to read it faster, be able to process it and apply it, you can apply that towards what? Everything else. Money, management, martial arts, you know, marketing, every music, everything in your life gets easier. So I would say to that person that there are an amazing amount of opportunity right now. We have so much abundance. We have more connection because of these little devices that we have in our pocket than President Clinton did when he was in office, right? We have more access. We have we have unfettered access to anything. You want to learn speed reading, salsa, Spanish? We have podcasts like this. We have YouTube, right? An incredible opportunity to level up you know, our learning. And the faster in today's economy, the faster you can learn, the faster you can earn. And today's that the faster you can learn, the faster you can earn. Because knowledge is not only power, knowledge is profit. And I don't mean just financial, but that's obvious, right? But I mean all the treasures of your life. There's a growing divide, not just, not just in, in material possessions. It's those who know and those who don't know. 
right? And our ability to learn rapidly and translate that learning into action is the ultimate competitive advantage in today's knowledge economy. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to Time for Coffee, where the professionals in the jobs that most interest you always have time to grab coffee 24-7, no matter where you live. I have one quick favor to ask you. Remember to rate, review, and subscribe to Time for Coffee. Thanks so much.